from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your evening update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good evening. Hope you had a lovely weekend so far. Just want to go ahead and kick this off by mentioning the warnings that we've got in place. First things first, red flag warning, the fire weather warning. This goes all the way in effect to Wednesday due to the fact that we're in the northwest flow of that. Dry conditions, gusty conditions out there. So we need to watch that carefully. I'll break that down in more detail in a second. And of course, we've also got that excessive heat warning in effect for the same areas in the valley all the way down south to North Sacramento metro area. This goes out until Saturday next weekend into the evening there due to the fact that that whole period, the whole next week, is going to be hot. First of all, want to break down what we're expecting for highs to start our week. Looks like for a lot of us around the valley, we're going to be in the upper 80s, lower to mid 90s. It's pretty hot out there on its own, right? And of course, on the coast, even you're in the upper 60s, lower 70s. But through the valley, Redding, all the way down to Chico, you're going to be talking 103 to 105 out there. So there's the beginning of that trend back up to the triple digits. And of course, with the fire danger, we also have that maximizing tomorrow and into Tuesday as well. So as we head through our Monday, notice those really dry conditions out there. Relative humidity in the 15 to 25 percent range there. But those gusts, 18 to 25 miles an hour out of the northwest, it's no surprise we got that red flag warning. So fire weather conditions really are shaping up. And in fact, I think as we head into Tuesday, that actually looks even a little more treacherous in terms of the fire weather. Let me show you why. I think the wind gusts are going to be a little bit higher for our Tuesday, and we're going to be drier in the valley as well as out east for Modoc County, Plumas County, down to Butte County as well. So Valley East, I actually think there's some pretty decent fire conditions out there as we head through Tuesday and Wednesday. And, you know, check those gusts out from Alturas all the way down to Redding, Red Bluff. We're talking 20 to 30 miles an hour out there. So it's definitely primed. We're in fire season. That much is for sure. Now, of course, taking a look at the big picture, this high pressure, that's the culprit. First, first part of the week, right? We're in the northwest flow of this. So we're getting that gusty wind out of the north, but we start to steer away from that issue and we start to steer back towards excessive heat as this dome pushes east over the north state sets itself down we're going to be right underneath the maximum area of this thing starting wednesday or so lasting through i'd say friday saturday there and we're going to see a lot of triple digit heat here as this system takes hold becomes the primary weather maker taking a look at your seven day outlook you can see what i'm talking about starting really day after tomorrow towards wednesday 110 to 112 there with those temperatures really trending up so that's that big heat that we've been talking about. Dry as can be and hot as can be as we head over the next several days, wrapping up the last week of June and heading into the first week of July. And of course, Thursday, that's Independence Day. Notice those temperatures. Even along the coast, you're going to be in the lower 70s. Head a little further inland out towards Trinity County as well. And you got those 105s to 109s there as well. Stay hydrated, stay in the shade. It is going to be blistering out there. Mount Shasta City, Alturas and Monarch County, all the way out to, you know, Butte County out there. Plumas County as well. We're going to be talking those upper 90s, low 100s as well in the same time frame there. So that heat taken back over in a big, big way. And for the first half of the week, we got that fire weather really trending up. So be very careful out there trying to make the best of this hot week. Mike Kruger, of course, will be back with you all week to see how the forecast evolves fresh from the Weather North Carolina Command Center.